All right. Hello, hello. Mr. Wahlberg here. Uh, I have a guest speaker to help out tonight. It is my daughter, Emma. Say hi. Hi. She's a second grader, so if she can do this stuff, you guys can do this. Uh, we're looking at three-dimensional figures now. Um, prime example, uh, you can see a picture of a prism there. Um, my daughter's going to draw a square. Here you go, draw a square. Here's her square. Beautiful square. A little crooked, but we'll, we'll accept it. Uh, that's a two-dimensional figure. Uh, that would only have a length and a width, so that's only two dimension. If you look at the prism here on the uh, right side over here, this is three dimensions because we have a length, width, and depth. So that makes three different dimensions to make that happen. All right, some examples of three-dimensional figures. You may or may not have seen these before. Uh, we're looking at prisms. Prisms are polyhedrons that have two parallel identical bases. They're named by the shape of the base. Uh, Emma, will you, sh will you circle the prisms on here, please? Oh, good job right there. Those three, correct. Uh, they're named by the bases. So the first two uh, right here are rectangular prisms. Even though this one right here is a square, a square is a type of rectangle, so those are both rectangular prisms. The third one, Emma, can you tell me what shape that is right there? Triangle. Triangle. So that is a triangular prism. Uh, what back? There's the pencil back for you. Uh, next, we're looking at pyramids. Pyramids have one base, and they're named by the shape of the base. That is a pyramid, and that is a pyramid. Uh, they're named by the shape of the base. At the bottom of the first one, if I can get the pencil back from her, this is another, Emma? Triangle. Triangle. So that's a triangular pyramid. This one is a rectangular pyramid because a, it's a rectangle at the bottom. Uh, the last few things uh, you should uh, easily know. A cylinder. Emma, where's our cylinder? And where is our cone? That's right. And you can see the definitions of those as well. Uh, the last one, uh, I didn't put the definition down. It's not really in uh, the homework or anything. But uh, the last thing is what's called a... Sphere. Sphere. Thank you. All right, moving along, uh, here's just a prime example. Uh, we're going to spend some time practicing how to draw some of these uh, figures uh, tomorrow in class. Uh, just kind of give you an example. Here's an example of a triangular pyramid that we just talked about. Uh, they they uh, kind of give you some steps, just kind of something to think about as you uh, practice how to do these. All right, another example of a, a 3D figure. This time it's going to be a rectangular prism. My daughter is going to draw it. Here we go. If it's a prism, we have to have two identical bases. In this case, it's going to be a rectangle. So there's one rectangle, and there is two rectangles. And then you have to connect the lines to make it 3D. Now you have your identical bases with your faces and sides to match. The only other thing you have to do is you have to dash any lines that are... There we go. Good job, Emma. Any lines that are uh, obviously hidden, and in those cases, you could, wouldn't be able to see those lines. Last thing, uh, another type of problem you're going to see on your uh, homework tomorrow. It says draw the front, the side, and the top views of a paper cup. So you got a paper cup here. If you look at it from the front, Emma, what kind of shape do you think we'd see? Triangle. That's right. And if we turned it and looked from the side, what would we see? Triangle. Another triangle. And then the last thing, if we look from the top, what kind of shape would we see? A circle. Very good. Okay. We will see you all tomorrow. Say bye, Emma.